like I said, I hope everyone's having a groovy Sunday. Um, I hope to keep the spirit of a uh, church alive in this place since we are having uh, some good words being brought to us. So my name is Trey Isaac. I'm an artist that is driven by a genuine passion for manifesting all inspiring and psychologically empowering pieces of art. Based on my life as a person who has had to find power through loss and peace through discomfort, I would like to welcome you all to my talk. And yes, I'm using cue cards, just trying to be as prepared as possible. My talk will serve as a blunt reminder of how much art drives our day to day lifestyle and explain how artists and creative teams fearlessly take upon the task of elevating and advancing our states of being respect to the creators, the process and the mindset. Artists conversations, artists experiences is creating solutions, artists negotiating terms, bonding with family, leading and being part of a team, artists, everything that we already do on a day to day basis. We use art every day, our smartphones, the apps by developers who also design various modes of transportation, pride and representation in sports, food we create and consume. Literally every aspect of our day to day life involves art. Media is created by artists, primarily effective due to the various directors, producers, designers, arrangements of people and places. All of it revolves around various forms of art to get your attention and implant opinions and perspectives into your mind. Entertainment, the music, the dance, and the cinema that we listen to features actors who use their art to transport you into a world of entertainment. Musical performers use their art and lyrics to create emotions. Various artists of all kinds use their crafts and passions on levels that use us all to enjoyment. Musicians and orators, even the simple day-to-day -day interactions and conversations with people all around us are a form of art. The music producers, the audio producers as well, all of that is a form of art. Various sports athletes use art to represent their towns, cultures, and notable occasions. The organizations utilize artists for attracting fans with digital and graphic arts. The arenas and stadiums designed by architects who use their art and space to create accommodating places. Marketing as a whole is an art that encompasses many mediums of creativity to gain our attention and support. Multi-million and billion dollar companies seek out and employ artists who use their talents to attract new customers to their brand, products, and services. All of it, art. Professional corporate artists get paid on many levels. The world artists are appropriately compensated for not only their time and efforts to their current projects, but the time and effort that they took to have that preparedness for you to hire them in the first place. They get paid when they're put in position to do so. And we also play many other roles. Artists are people, businesses, and communities all around us. From the creating impactful bonds with people, from being mentors, writers, designers, art is more than just painting on anything. This is more than just painting on your walls. Artists create solutions as well. We're creative problem solvers. We're tasked often with having to utilize creatively critical thinking in deadline situations and team settings, most oftentimes with success being our only option. So with that, we always have to put pressure on ourselves to make sure we're meeting deadlines and whatnot. And we also provide perspectives that's dissimilar and outside the norm when we put in team and community-based situations. Collaborative brainstorming is an art form in its own, but, you know, to the talks that you have with people, to the Zoom meetings, all those forms of gathering and communication. We we'll often have to rely on resilience as well. The journey of being an artist comes with its own sets of challenges and adversities that may at times discourage us from pressing forward. We always have to somewhat have a never say never attitude if we want to accomplish certain goals in our life. And we need support. We need endorsements. We need resources that educate and endorse creativity to children, teens, and adults, not just as a hobby or something to do on the side, but something that could be a naturally proprietary asset that you can do something with your life in terms of making money or, you know, changing the world. We're all innovators in terms of being artists. There's countless amount of innovations waiting to be conceived that just need adequate amounts of support, tools to ignite those engines of change. No matter how young, old, local, or world we're now, we're all artists. We just need to be tapped in. Communities as a whole, we need creators for local communities and society to be efficiently developed along with developing ways to collaborate. We should just look to creative artists and people with that mindset who can think outside the box and know how to work with other people creatively. And more importantly, artist therapy, being able to take something from nothing and have that gratifying feeling of accomplishing the act of manifesting, you know, that's, that's something that's very filling to the spirit, something very filling to the soul. Everything is art. Like I said, from the conversations to the people that we meet to the experiences that we have is again, it's not just paint with a twist parties. It's not just 
the usual things that you see on TV is more than just Bob Ross. Art is the creative articulation of empowering philosophies, memorable experiences, and world-changing innovations. And I would like to thank you all. That's my talk. Um, I'm Trey Isaac, and you can find me throughout all those mediums and channels. All right, all right. Thank you so much, Trey. Give him some flames, give him thank some you, love you. in the chat because, you know, I'm not trying to give everybody a different name, but hey, I'm going to say Reverend Trey <laughs> because when you said <laughs> church, I mean, you were flowing. I, I were appreciate it. I, I tried. Yeah, like I said, I had to have the cue cards, you know, so yeah, I, I couldn't go off the top like. You know, everybody else did. So. <laughs> no, you nailed it. You nailed it. I was so inspired by your talk. And yeah, well, people are loving it. 